In the previous lectures we discussed the antiplatelets, anticoagulants and thrombolytic drugs. So in this lecture we'll talk about the drugs used to treat bleeding. First we should know that bleeding may occur as a result of a naturally occurring pathologic conditions, such as hemophilia, or as a result of fibrinolytic states that may arise after a surgery, or as a result of using anticoagulants. There are four agents we'll talk about in this lecture. The first two agents are, aminocaproic acid and transamic acid. Both agents can control the fibrinolytic states. They inhibit plasminogen activation. Both agents are synthetic, orally active, and excreted in the urine. Transamic acid is ten times more potent than aminocaproic acid. A potential side effect for these agents is intravascular thrombosis. The third agent is protamine sulfate. We already know from the previous lectures. That protamine sulfate is the antidote of heparin. So it is used to antagonize the anticoagulant effects of heparin. The positively charged protamine interacts with the negatively charged heparin, leading to the formation of a stable complex without anticoagulant activity. And the last agent is vitamin K. We also know from the previous lectures that vitamin K1, which is known as phytonidaone, is the antidote of warfarin. So it can stop bleeding problems due to warfarin. Vitamin K1 may be administered via the oral, subcutaneous, or intravenous route. The response to vitamin K1 is slow requiring about 24 hours. So if immediate hemostasis is required, fresh frozen plasma should be infused. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon, to make sure you won't miss any of the upcoming videos.